A cerebral aneurysm is a ballooning or an outpouching at a weak point of a vessel wall in your head. It's quite common. Two to three percent of people do have aneurysm in their heads. So if you are in a building or on a bus, there's a very good chance there'll be another person in the same building on the bus who have this aneurysm. More and more aneurysms are being picked up incidentally, which means they are being found during investigations for other health conditions. And with the new techniques and development in imaging, we are finding more people with aneurysms, but they may well have been there for, you know, decades. The vast majority of aneurysms are small and they're unlikely to cause any harm. They are completely incidental, sitting there doing nothing. We can treat cerebral aneurysms, but the treatment is not without risk. And therefore, we don't jump into treating these aneurysms. We keep monitoring them. We will be monitoring your aneurysm with surveillance MRAs, which are similar to an MRI, but they're looking specifically at the vessels in your head. We're able to look at the aneurysm in detail. We're looking for any change to the aneurysm or stability. We know from studies that the risk of rupture of an aneurysm is directly related to the size of the aneurysm. So we will be keeping a close eye on it within the first 12 months, making sure that it's not changing in size or shape. And so MRAs allow us that reassurance. Your diagnostic scan will have been done locally to you, and then you will be referred to a neurosurgical centre such as ours, where you will have all your surveillance imaging going forward. The timing of that imaging will be decided by your consultant neurosurgeon and also as part of a wider multidisciplinary team. Studies suggest that if aneurysms have been stable over a period of time, then they're not likely to, to change or increase in size. So in those cases, we may increase the timing of, of your imaging, but obviously that will be a decision that's made by your consultant neurosurgeon and in agreement with you. We normally say allow four to six weeks to get your results in writing. Understandably, you may be anxious on waiting for the results, but you can always contact the neurovascular nurses for a variable report on your scan. Usually after about two weeks, you'll be able to access your results from us. Most of patients do get worried, they get anxious towards the time of having the scan and immediately after the scan. So you don't need to worry. We're doing this monitoring to make sure you're safe for the future. You can carry on with your activities, you can go to the gym, you can exercise. Going on holiday, flying, all of those things that you would normally do in a day-to-day -day life, you can carry on doing. There are only two factors we know that will increase the risk of rupture. One is smoking, and it's extremely important for you to stop smoking. And we'll be concerned about your blood pressure. High blood pressure we know can cause damage and pressure on those vessels. So if your blood pressure isn't managed now, then I would suggest that controlling your blood pressure would be one of the first things I would suggest doing. And you can check your blood pressure at any local pharmacy or your GP will monitor it for you. As I said, the risk of rupture is very, very small. If it happens, it would be something very clear that you will notice there's something not right and everyone around you will notice that. And most patients would describe a big bang to the back of the head type headache. That's the sort of headache we're concerned about. So I wouldn't be concerned if you developed a mild headache that was managed with a bit of rest or um, paracetamol. I would have no concerns about that type of headache. And you may initially have lots of questions when you have this new diagnosis. Questions about your scan results, um, if you're worried about symptoms. And you might just want to talk through some issues you're having regarding sort of headaches, your anxiety. We appreciate that it's a very worrying, unsettling time, but hopefully we can put your mind at rest.